All right, our corrupt Justice Department doesn't just launch investigations into their political enemies. They actively protect their political friends. While the rest of the world on Monday was paying attention to the Durham report, an IRS whistleblower investigating Hunter Biden told Congress that he and his, quote, entire investigation team were removed from their open investigation into Hunter's taxes. The whistleblower's lawyers insist the DOJ's actions are retaliatory against their client and may violate federal law. In other words, the Department of Justice is punishing a government employee for investigating the president's son and doing it while we were all distracted with the Durham report. New York Post columnist Miranda Devine is the author of The Laptop from Hell, and she joins us now. Miranda, I thought there was a protection for whistleblowers. Yeah, hi, Will. Um, well, clearly not. And we've seen this over and over with other whistleblowers from the FBI, people like Steve Friend, who uh, basically suffer greatly from uh, trying to be honest and trying to bring some accountability uh, to these agencies. But look, I think this is worse than retaliation against a whistleblower. This is obstruction of justice. This is the Department of Justice intervening in a very sensitive case being Hunter Biden, the tax case against Hunter Biden, the son of the president. And we have been told uh, for nigh on three years that this, this Department of Justice was so honourable and Merrick Garland was so uh, perfect that this was going to be an arm's length independent investigation and that Joe Biden prides himself on allowing it all to, to go the course without any interference. Right. And that has been a complete lie. And what you've seen here is as soon as there's a whistleblower that comes out of that investigation, the IRS whistleblower, who has a tale to tell of interference by the Department of Justice when they try to charge Hunter Biden on these tax cases um, in the states in which they happened, uh, suddenly, as soon as he gets immunity uh, to be able to testify, Wushka comes in the Department of Justice and completely wipes out that investigation team. It's absolutely stunning, Miranda. It gives you a lack of faith. It makes you pessimistic that we will ever see any type of accountability, even on the smallest of charges. This isn't even what the story is about, not tax evasion. The story yeah. is about the corruption, the potential corruption of the president of the United States. And we can't even get accountability on the smallest of charges. Miranda Devine, always great to see you. Thanks, Will. Right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.